Hey, welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, let's take a look at a packet search script that I've written. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. So I wanted to introduce you guys to this packet search script. It's a pretty basic little script, but I find it super helpful when I'm in the field operating uh, from an unknown location uh, or somewhere that I don't typically uh, operate from. Let me say that. But its purpose in life is to search for two meter packet gateways for WinLink and then give you the tools that you need to calculate the distance from your current location and it will also calculate the bearing from your location to the gateways location. Uh, so if you're using a Yagi antenna, it'll help you go ahead and point that Yagi antenna in the correct direction. So let's jump over to the Raspberry Pi and take a look at how you use this when you're in the field. Okay, so over on the Pi, I have the packet search tool running uh, already, and I'm gonna walk through just a few of these options here and then show you exactly how this works. So we've got three different ways to search for a gateway that you want to connect with. If you already know its call sign, you can use option one and search for that specific packet gateway. If you just want to see uh, what gateways may be around you within a specified distance, then you could use option two and do a distance search, and that would return any of them that are uh, within proximity to your location. And then the other one that we can do is a grid search. So if you just take a look at what grid you're currently in, you could search for other packet gateways uh, that are in the grid that you are currently in. Option four just gives us a way to download a new list. So you do need to be connected to the internet to do that download, but you could always do that before you head it out into the field. Option five is just going to open a grid map. So we'll go ahead and open that now. Takes it just a couple of seconds and you'll be presented with a PDF grid map of the U.S. Now, currently I only have this uh, set up for the U.S., but uh, one of the enhancements I want to make in the future is to include a world map for this as well. But you could use the map to search for a specific grid that you wanted to. And then uh, option five is open, or I'm sorry, option six is open grid calc. And we'll get to that in just a second. And then seven is just the way to get out of the application. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to do a distance search. So I'm going to use option two and press enter. And it's gonna ask me what's the distance that I wanna search. And I'm just going to give it 50 kilometers. We'll go ahead and press return. And you'll see that we've got three different gateways all within 50 kilometers. Now the one I'm going to focus on for this video is right here. It's the WC4 EOC-8 gateway. More importantly though, I want to know what the grid square is. So you'll notice right here, it's Echo Mike 65 Papa Whiskey. And that's going to be the critical information we need so that we can calculate distance and bearing to the gateway. So we'll go ahead and press any key to continue. And then we'll go ahead and we're going to open GridCalc. Now GridCalc does need to be installed in addition to the packet search gateway. In fact, packet search uh, will do a check when it first runs. And if you don't have GridCalc installed, packet search will not even run uh, because it does need GridCalc in order for everything to work correctly. So we'll go ahead and press option six and that's going to open up grid calc. Now you'll notice here that my current grid square is being picked up by the GPS and fed into the software. 
So the other grid is the grid of the gateway that we want to connect with. So I'm going to enter uh, Echo Mic 65 Papa Whiskey. And then we'll just go ahead and click on Calculate. And that's going to give us all of the information we need. So we know that the distance uh, between the two grids is 30 kilometers or 18.64 miles. And the bearing is 279 degrees. So this gives us all of the information we need to attempt to make a Winlink connection to this Winlink packet gateway. It gives us the distance and then it gives us that bearing so that if we're using a Yagi style antenna, we'll know exactly which direction to point that antenna. So there you have it, guys. There's a look at the packet search script that I have written. Hopefully, it will help you if you're in the field and want to make a connection to a Winlink packet gateway. We'll see you guys on the next video. Until then, 7-3.